everyone. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a simple pop-up that will pop up once the visitor would want to exit the website, as you can see right now. We can see here, wait a sec, we got cookie, sign up and get. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So currently right now, I'm in my WP admin dashboard. And what you want to do in your case is head over to your templates and then head over to add new template. And in this case, you would want to choose a pop up from this drop down and then name your pop up. In my case, I went with we got cookies because I think everybody loves cookies. By the way, all the links to the plugins that I'll be using specifically, I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro will be down in the description of this video. Other than that, head over and click create template. So in my case, I went with a pre-made template by Elementor just to keep it as simple as it is. And then I just style it a little bit. As we can see here, it is this template right here. The simple way that you can do that is simply by clicking insert, and then it will insert itself into the Elementor editor, as we can see here. In order to center it, or you'll be able to play around with it, you want to head over to the settings of the pop-up. So the way that you do it, if you're in the old editor of Elementor, you want to head over to the bottom left-hand corner and head over to the wrench icon over here under settings. And then you'll be able to see that we have our pop-up settings right over here. So I've centered it right over here under the position horizontal and vertical. I just centered it out over here. And again, you can play around with it. Just put it on the bottom, on the right or on the left, put it at the top or at the bottom or whatever suits you. So I'll head over and center it and then you'll be able to edit it over here. But for this, I would just keep it as it is. The thing that I wanted to show you here, other than we have the style over here, is that you can specify the triggers. Specifically, I've configured it that way that when a person is trying to exit the website, it will pop up. So the way that you do it is head over to the settings over here, right next to the publish button over here. Or if you're in the new editor, again, it will be in or next to the button over there. And then you will be option to display the settings and head over to save options. Then you'll be able to see the display conditions. Now, the first condition, I would set it up in the page that I want to. So add new condition, click that button, and you'll be able to choose the entire site or specific pages or archives. Or if you're using WooCommerce, then on specific WooCommerce pages or archives. So in my case, it was singular. And then I was being able to choose whatever singular page that I wanted to. So in my case, it was the front page. And then I will head over to my triggers. And under the triggers, you'll be able to see here on page exit intent. And this is what you want to enable so the pop-up will recognize because it will recognize through JavaScript that the person or the cursor is trying to exit the website or going to another tab or whatever it's trying to do just to leave the website. So again, enable that. There is no more options over here. Of course, you can style it differently over here on, on page load, on scroll and so forth. But specifically for this scenario, I wanted to pop up the pop-up once the user wants to exit the website. Now, other than that, I'll click next or head over to my advanced rules over here and here you'll be able to dial it down to a specific scenario that you want to usually what i would do is show up to x times meaning i don't want to show it again and again and again because then it will be frustrating for my users and it's not a good user experience so i'll head over and dial it down to one time persisting on open i'll keep that as it is and other than that i think you're good to go again you can schedule it and you can show in browsers show on devices hide for login users if you want to and then show when arriving from and when arriving from specific URL and all the other options. Other than that, once you're done, just click save and close. Now, in my case, I will need to go to my auto pop up, which is similar to that, and then disable it, and then we'll be able to see this pop up. But other than that, I'll head over to my main page of the website and then we'll be able to see the pop up once I'm trying to exit the website. So I'm back here on my front page. So let's try it out and see that it's a different pop up and not with the cookies. So let's try to exit our website side. Okay, I see that doesn't work. So in my case, I assume that it already triggered that I've already tried to exit one time. So I'll just head over back to my edit page over here and I'll head over to my save options and I'll head over to my advanced rules and I'll just disable the show up to X times and I'll just save and close. And now when I'll head over back to my front page and I'll just click refresh, then we'll be able to see that when I'm trying to exit, my pop-up will pop up. As we can see here, sign up and get 10% on a flooring services. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this video how simple it is it's just by creating a pop-up with elementor and elementor pro you don't need to do a lot here because it's just a matter of setting up the settings over there and yeah that's pretty much it and if this video helped you i'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that i post on this channel whether it's on elementor wordpress or woocommerce or any other platform or plugins other than that i'll be seeing you in the next one